Hi loves, welcome to the Rainbow Love Community. My name is Christian Everett and I'm an energy flow director assisting humanity in directing their flow of energy to their highest potential, yay. Today's video I'll be speaking about the chakra reading service that I offer on the rainbowlovecommunity.com page. It's uh, something that I believe it's very imperative during this time to kind of understand where you are energetically speaking. Uh, and I just wanna preface that anyone and everyone can read your chakras meaning you can read your own chakras. Uh, if someone reads your chakras without your permission, then that is against your free will, and you could always um, not sue them, but definitely uh, take back your energy, which is really cool when that happens, <laughs> because the other person's not expecting it. But when you go and you purchase the, the service, which is $10 on the Rainbow Love Community, which is a 15 minute, service 10 minutes for reading your chakras and five minutes to compile an audio file uh, and send it your way uh, you are indirectly giving me permission right like that's how that works right when you purchase that service you are indirectly allowing me to read your chakras but that's the only thing that i'm doing loves is reading your chakras trust me i do not want to entangle myself with your energy i will not allow your energy or anyone else's energy to uh, intertwine with mine i i've learned through reiki healing how to separate the energies right uh, I'm an energy. I'm an energy flow director, which is so cool. Uh, I direct the energy. I know how the energy is flowing. Uh, I kind of have an understanding. It's a psychic ability. Like I said, anyone can do it. How you do it is just having the awareness of how your energy is flowing within the body, as well as a manifestation of the externality uh, and your relationship with source. Those are the three components that one should not should but one uh, has to develop to read your own ch to, to have the the inner strength and the inner wisdom to read your chakras now if you don't know what a chakra is chakra is just another word for the Hindu Sanskrit for uh, energy center energy will energy will and there's certain energy there's seven major energy wills within the physical body and these energy wills are like centers where most of the energy is uh, interacting with the physical and the spiritual and the mental. It's just, it's like an energy ball that's concentrated with energy. And there's seven major ones on the body, which kind of makes sense. I mean, it really, it really does make sense. And this comes from the Hindu, Hindu, Hinduism or Hindu belief, Hindu and Buddhism, I believe. And some, uh, I don't think in Chinese, in China, but maybe, I don't know. What I'm saying is it comes from uh, India, okay? <laughs> uh, that's not the point. The point is that one should experience it. I've experienced it. So for me, it makes sense and it's real. If it's not real to you, that's totally fine, right? Just understand that there's an energy flow within the body, energetically speaking, right? And when you think about it scientifically, which makes so much sense, you, our blood is constantly in a flow state. Your blood does not stop. It's not stopping unless it's being integrated or used, it's stopped. But typically our cells are moving in our body every single like moment in our life. Our neurons are um, firing, our neurotransmitters are working. There's always an energetic motion within the body. So it kind of makes sense. And when you actually, take it take it a deep further for people who don't believe in the chakra system scientifically speaking there are the seven chakra reels or the seven chakras uh, are correlated or associated with some of the organs of the body or some of the major functions of the human body like the endocrine endocrine system the nervous system I mean it's all intertwined there so you do your research. If you want to learn how to read your own energy, which benefits you understanding where you are energetically, which gives you so much to work with, um, then uh, go check it out. Do your own research. If you want me to teach you how to do it, then you could always book a, count, a consultation with me, and that's also in the rainbowlovecommunity.com page. Um, so 
what I will do is I, well, let me just start with the seven chakras. Very basic, look at the chakras. It's in your sexual organs, which there's a major energy there. You can know it. that's where it starts. That's the connection to uh, the earth, right? It would make sense, which is like to our legs, right? We don't have major organs in our legs. <laughs> the legs is an extension to, to earth, but regardless, you have the, the sexual glands, then you have the reproduction glands, and then you have your stomach area, then you have your heart, you have your throat, you have your pineal gland and then you have your kind of like your brain but kind of like it's not really your brain per se it's more of like the 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 but if, you, if you're gonna say it probably is the brain because it's like right here uh, this very sensitive spot here so you do your own research I'm not gonna go much into detail this is not like a let me talk about the chakras video I'm just promoting a chakra reading now Chakra reading is for individuals who are awakening spiritually and are trying to decipher what needs to take priority in their life, right? If you don't know how to energetically see your energy, then a chakra reading will assist you in that. Um, so I will, first off, be, I will go in a trance. Trance meaning just altering my state of consciousness so I could access your energetic body uh, and read them. Um, at first, I couldn't read them just like just reading them. I had to use a pendulum to, to do it. Now, I can just access your, the, the energetic body, your energetic body, and read them and get the answers just energetically. And some of you might be like, well, how do you know you're not reading your own energy? Well, because before I do one, I clear my energy. So like I have to open up the channels within my energy, which takes time. That's what I'm saying. It takes discipline. Not everyone wants to do that. <laughs> some might find it interesting. Some might find it a very fun activity. Some just like, it's boring. No. Uh, but Yes, I would have to take my time to clear my inner, my seven chakras to open them, right? Because you have an open channel of the chakras or you have stagnation energy or blocked energy. That's uh, either your energy flow is going very slowly or it's going super fast. You can't hold on to it. You can't manifest it. You can't will it into existence, et cetera, et cetera, right? It gets, it's a lot, but I will have to clear my energy so it would be open. So... Uh, when I read your energy, when I say your name and, you know, I access your energetic body, then I'm getting in your energy, right? Because I'm not, my energy flow will not be blocked. If I have any blockages, there won't be any blockages. Uh, even if it's temporarily, because that's the thing, loves. It's, it's temporarily, depending on how much awareness and consciousness we are holding into the energy flow of our body, right? Um, so, if, which is very difficult, it's complex. So, of course, some of my chakras would be closed versus open. Uh, for example, most of my upper chakras are open versus the bottom chakras. I, I really have a hard time grounding myself. But I'm working on that. It's when I clear my chakras and I start a spirit, when I practice my spiritual practice, then yes, it grounds me, so it opens my chakras. Um, but it's a constant state of flow. Right? It's really hard work to maintain them open, and that's okay. So, I read your chakras, and I figure out, not I figure out, I, energetically speaking, it will tell me if your chakras are open or closed, blocked or open. Open meaning that, you, that the energy flow is uh, very smooth, it's going in and it's and interchanging, it's going in and it's going out. Uh, and blocked meaning that there's certain uh, physical blockages, like you could have some type of uh, chemical imbalance in your body. It could be emotional blockages, meaning that you have a certain emotional attachment to a certain uh, organ and what that means. Uh, what I mean, like let's say you, uh, you have a root chakra problem, which is the lowest chakra, which is your sexual glands. You literally just you have, to, you have excess amount or you don't have excess amount or you want a relationship but you're like, oh, I don't want to have you know, inter uh, 
sexual relationship with you, but I want a relationship. So that's all emotional that deals with uh, the root chakra. Uh, or you can do mental blockages, like you're not knowing how to uh, mentally manage that energy, right? Maybe you have too much energy and you don't know what to do with it, so it's driving you a little bit uh, crazy or you're just frustrated or you know what I mean? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. We've all experienced that. <laughs> Um, or you just have too little sexual energy and you're just like, mm, you know, just like podunk. But that's how, that's how it would come through me, right? That's simply, that's how it would, it would come to me. And so I would read them and I would tell you my feedback and give you, I mean, I probably would not give you feedback unless you get a consultation with me. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Because that's information. You can look it up. What does it mean for uh, root chakra blockages or closed chakra? There's so much information out there. You need to find what resonates with you, love. That is empowering you. I will assist you in that, but that's it. If you want my advice and my expertise and my experience, knowledge, and wisdom, then you would get a booking from me. Now, let's say you get a booking from me in a week from now, like you get your chakra reading today, and then a week uh, you get the chakra reading, then that chakra reading is not that it's nullified, it's just no longer relevant. But I can give you some advice in regards to that chakra reading. It won't necessarily apply to your life then and there at that moment that we get the consultation, but you'll have an understanding of, of, of that, that time span from the time you got the chakra to your consultation. I should actually do a chakra reading for your consultation. When you get one, you automatically get one. Maybe. I'll find out. I'll think about it. <laughs> but yeah, chakra readings for beginners. Once you kind of have an understanding and a grasp of how your energy is flowing internally, as well as the externality, the manifestation of your energy externally, and your relationship source, you can do it yourself. Like, it's great. I mean, it's really amazing. It's very complex. Uh, but you can do it like you really can do it I mean you can typically a lot of people are like oh today I'm happy right today I'm happy but it's just more than just I'm happy you can just you could overall some summarize it as happiness right but there's certain areas in our life that we're not happy with and you know it's totally fine but working on those as well is key to allowing more happiness to come into our lives. It's not that you want more, 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 it's just we deserve that happiness, right? It's finally time for that to come into our lives, that abundance. So, yay! Uh, so that is the chakra reading. Uh, I didn't do a demonstration, I'll probably do a demonstration later, but that is the chakra reading uh, update for you loves. If you would like to have a if you'd like for me to read your chakras and send it to you via uh, MP3, then um, just go and get it up. Uh, yeah, go check it out. It's on the Rainbow Love Community page. This is all for you. It's also for uh, the Rainbow Love Community. And yeah, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe. I upload videos every day. And um, we'll see you later. Bye.